to HSMA E-Day 2020. We're here at uh, Berlin this year and today I've got with me Wilhelm K. Weber from Kempinski Hotels. Wilhelm, it's great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, Andre, and uh, great to see you all back in events like this. You're giving a presentation today about revenue and management and pricing. What would be three key takeaways that you'd like the audience to take away from that? So the, the key takeaway is basically um, that uh, Revenue management, like we used to do it pre-COVID, um, has one element which is not really working well, and that's the element of forecasting. Um, so the forecasts are proven to be very wrong. What we all forecasted, including myself, in the beginning of March was not really in line with what happened. Um, we see that the systems are failing, we see that the people are struggling, so the question is like, how do you turn a discipline which was heavily based on forecasting and planning excellence into something which has nothing to do with forecast. And uh, what I'll be talking about is like the approach we took at Kempinski, which I think is a good one, of course, because otherwise I wouldn't have mandated it. But um, we said we can't forecast well these days. So instead of forecasting and basing the planning on it, we put ourselves into a, a situation where we can react faster and more agile than a competition to changes in the marketplace. So everything will be like get rid of forecasting, get into becoming faster and how to take fast decisions as a revenue manager. Mm, great. Obviously Kempinski is a luxury brand. How as a brand has Kempinski adjusted to a COVID-19 world? What, have you, what measures have you put in place to ensure that you're maintaining your certain standards? Well, um, I can assure you we've done a lot and uh, that was like a, a tremendous effort from the global teams. Um, to put something into place which we call white glove services. So the idea of white glove services is to put the hygiene measures that we want to have, that we need to have, into a balance with the luxury experience that the guests are expecting from us. And we came up with the image of the white gloves because um, like 100 years, 150 years ago, all the service was done wearing gloves in order not to touch the cutlery, for instance, mm. for the guests. So we brought up this not new like uh, heritage idea of luxury hospitality and translated. And of course, like everyone else, we came from very strong measures. And I mean, I didn't say we almost turned the hotels into hospitals, but let's say there was a, a level where the hygiene measures were up, but the luxury experience was down. Uh, and we now came back uh, into a more balanced way. And I'm very, very happy and glad to see we're in Berlin here. So I have the pleasure of staying at the Adlon. And it's just wonderful. It's a buzzing place. People are there. The spirit is back. The friendliness. You can see people smile behind the mask. Everyone is wearing masks. Everyone is uh, kind of very cautious with the sanitation procedures, etc. But the spirit of the island is back. And I think this is a very important thing. How to balance it so you feel safe, but also you feel in, like in a luxury hotel. Mm, great, great. Final question. We're six months into COVID now. How uh, do you perceive the current levels of industry partnership and collaboration are at the current time? Uh, that's, a, that's a tricky question to answer um, because what we are experiencing is, first of all, um, we are a company that honors partnerships. and uh, We have long-term commitments and uh, uh, even in tough times we stand up and uh, try to find a solution with our partners um, in collaboration. Now, we experience a couple of partners being heavily under stress and um, some of them are kind of maintaining the partnership uh, culture while being under stress, trying to find solutions that are win for everyone. While some others, let's say, are a little bit more trying to kind of uh, save their own position in uh, having an interpretation of the partnership which is not balanced. And um, that is, of course, something that we cannot accept uh, because we are also under stress like the rest of the industry and we're all in the same boat here. Um, so I'm really looking forward for some of the partners to kind of return back into fruitful discussions instead of having this Stellungskrieg, as they say in Germany, which is just a stupid waste of time and nobody will solve it at the end of the day. So um, most of the partners, I have to say, are on a good way. But some are really, really doing weird things these days. And we're highly irritated. And of course, we're not signing off on those. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. It's always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for Enjoy having me day. and have a great day. Thank you. You too.